right morning traders uh sorry it's um right time right now here in nairobi kenya is uh you know quarter to five o'clock in the afternoon and i'm recording this video today to try and test if my uh samsung galaxy s6 smartphone can do a better job compared to what i've been using before guys uh, i do understand that you've given me feedback and i do appreciate the feedback that you guys have given me and um since i don't want to spend any of my money buying some of these fake products uh, i would rather use what i currently have uh, and uh, obviously i'm hoping that the sound will be better clear without any static all right guys uh, let's go straight to my day's um, um, uh, video and of course uh, today I earlier on in the day shared with you guys uh, a scalping technique that I, uh, I have in my uh, uh, arsenal that I use to you know typically day trade and just get a few bucks and you know a few pips and, and walk away um, so guys uh, I shared this on Forex Factory on my personal profile page and uh, hoping that some of you guys or hopefully some of you guys will see the link below uh, this uh, video and uh, you can click on it and you can try to learn uh, attached to the indicators there you can try to learn a few things from my scalping technique of course they say uh, we usually say that this is live on the first lane yeah this is live on the first lane uh, not everybody is born a scalper uh, in the scalping world things happen very very fast and you can see guys right now i'm currently on a one minute chat you can see guys one minute chat so uh yes everything happens very very fast obviously and uh you know you have to keep up with the pace so um typically the good thing about scalping is that you're in and out within minutes and um you know unless the market whipsaws you because of some fundamentals some news uh, and I started my trading career as a scalper and of course I evolved into some swing strategies that I also have and I have also taught, uh, you know, and, and so on and so forth. So this scalping technique is typically very simple. Of course, I had some trades that I fired or rather I took around this level when the market gave me uh, a red buffer, you know, my indicator gave me a red buffer. And of course, uh, I love to combine this with the Cobra Forex system. Of course, we call it the THPV. Uh, because you have to know these key price levels and be able to cope or adjust uh, accordingly. So I got my buffer and prior to that I had a bullish, sorry not a bullish divergence but a bearish divergence. You can see this guys, you can see bearish divergence right about this level. Of course this was a fixed signal because we wouldn't have shot this price at this level. We would have patiently waited until our buffer gave us a green, uh, a red buffer uh, or a buzzer. And you go in shot immediately, pounds. You know, as a scalper, you don't take time to think. You have to pull the trigger very, very fast and go in bang and wait for your pips. All right. So I pictured this trade at particular this level and I took the trade right down to around this level where you can see some reaccumulation. I hope some of you guys understand volume spread analysis concepts uh, according to Sir Wyckoff. You know, a reaccumulation on a one minute chart. You can see guys what's going on here. You can see and it's just right above the FPV. This is the pivot. Yeah, guys, take time to understand the various concepts in forex trading you know and uh, apply and reapply and constantly think outside the box man you have to think outside the box to make pips all right good so clearly as you can see right here from the thv system we can see obviously this is a clearly bullish day and the bulls are having fun waiting for the dips and buying the dips so if you love it live on the fast lane, guys, I'm saying you have to be on a one minute chart. And if you have to zoom in a bit uh, for fewer setups, you have to go at least to the five minutes chart and be patient and wait for the conditions that I shared on my link on Forex Factory. Feel free to click the link and go there and understand the rules behind my scalping technique. All right, guys, I have a buy right about this level. As you can see, um, I have a buy right about this level, of course. Um, I anticipated this buy because I could see we had some bullish divergence. Again, if you're a newbie and don't understand what is 
divergence baby pips you know you you need to you need to uh, visit baby pips or rather make google your friend and try to learn about divergences this is all to do with momentum my scalping technique is founded behind momentum with momentum by your side you make very easy and nice profitable trades and you can see the bears are losing it and i saw this green line are you seeing them guys seeing them right about this level you can see we had a bullish divergence and all i needed is some backup to tell me hey nathan something is about to go down understand so all i did was to patiently wait for my buffer or my buzzer to turn green and bang i'm in you know you don't have to you know you don't have to think or blink twice of course we had some nice confluence guys i want you to see this we had some nice confluence with the fpv right about this level you can see guys thus those of us who call this of course we call this support and resistance this was offering some nice support tested which tested and of course the vsa traders understand that this is what we call an accumulation phase a reaccumulation and of course uh there will be a move after this reaccumulation some of you may call me crazy because i'm applying like of concepts you know some of you believe that there is no volume in forex you know, pretty much you're free to think or believe in what you want to believe as long as you're a profitable trader okay all right so guys what you're watching right about this time if you're watching my trade i'm currently up about um you know three or four pips and all i'm looking for guys is the exit rules i said in my link on forex factory that you can go for blocks of five pips if you're conservative if you are um, a bit uh, dynamic and you want to make this system a little bit dynamic guys you're saying you are free to hold your trade longer you know and all you'll be looking for is an opposite signal by that i mean we need to get some bearish divergence that will be represented by a red bold line get this clearly guys a red bold line you understand red bold line that will signal that hey guys some momentum is losing them you know the bullish uh, run is losing momentum secondly what if we don't get a bearish divergence what will you be looking for you will be looking for the buffer or the buzz line to turn red and whichever time it does like you can see the market is trying to you know te tempt my patience and my emotions you know my psychology is being tested here guys as you can see you know it's being tested they want me to click out i will only click out if my rules are met of course guys like you're saying is if this line turns red i will be very happy to click out and take a loss i will take a loss guys whatever amount it will be i will take a loss because this system is probably going to net me more pips than i am going to lose guys that's all i'm saying so uh two things we're looking for is uh the change of color of the buffer line of course or our di bearish divergence which is the opposite signal of our current position which is a buy and if that happens man i will be out you can see my patience has been tested and you can see right now we are looking at a situation where the line is on the brink of turning to red so i will click out and lose uh how about how much is this um i will lose about um uh, six or five six or four no no not six or rather when it turns i will lose about four to three pips but we are saying you will probably make much more because the the winning runs are more than uh the, you know the choppy choppy uh, uh lines that we are going to get or choppy choppy moves or when the market is ranging so we are saying guys to avoid a ranging market you have to ensure that the trading times are observed of course you're saying the live market i mean sorry we are saying that the best trades are usually uh, very early in the morning kenyan time is about 8 9 10 11 12 get three hours up front in the early in the day make your 40 pips and then you can wait for the afternoon session let the traders in london go for their lunch break come back later and then try to trade the overlap session as you can see right now is about five o'clock in the afternoon and all you'll be looking for guys is to exit i mean is to is, is for volume we, we know the volumes peak or the volumes are a bit higher during these uh, sessions and of course you're saying 
you trade the Asian session, you're going to be whip sold and you're going to be chopped and you're going to lose quite a bit. And it's, going, it's not going to be fun for you at all. You're not going to have fun trading. The main, the main essence of trading is to have fun. As you can see, guys, I have my confirmation here is that the buffer signal has told me to sell or a buffer signal has given me the opposite signal, which will be pretty much I have, I don't, I, you know, guys, I, all we're saying is you have to be disciplined and take the loss and move forward. So, guys, I'm just about to lose 151. I think I clicked up with 130. Stick to your strategies, rules. This is good because I made a video that I actually have just lost some money, but I pretty much have enough arsenal in my, uh, in my, in my toolbox. And all that I'll be looking to do is... Um, uh do a couple of uh, you know a few more trades like this and i will be probably uh, smiling all the way to the bank all we're saying guys is that the winning ratio has to be at least uh more than the losses so all you're saying is that cut your losses short and let your profits run make your system as dynamic as possible and that will ensure that you're profitable guys that's all you're saying so don't want to gamble don't try to hope sit hope and wait and say that, oh, I think you're going to bounce off this FPV, man. They may be loading this thing up and just dump it like <laughs> like what they do uh, when they dump some stocks and everything. So what we're saying, guys, is be friendly to your terminal. Be friendly to your strategy. Follow it to the later. Don't uh, be an uh, egoistic kind of trader. Don't be afraid to take a loss. Take a loss as long as, long as the rules have indicated that you need to exit. So if you follow your strategy accordingly, you should be profitable. All that, all that I'm saying, guys, is um, if you find yourself emotional, of course, it's a high time you automate your strategy. So of course, which is on the brink of doing this um, and automating this strategy in coming days. And all we're saying is, of course, that will take a bit of the emotions off uh my 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 way so i want to show you guys a couple of trades that i fired this afternoon of course as soon as i came back from uh looking for some dog food i came and just found the market was just on the brink of you know a big fall then i was like all right it retested that particular level and i could see a nice selling setup right here look at these guys all i'm saying again some bullish divergence you know weakening buyers are losing momentum buyers are losing grip of this market and you can see guys we had a nice bullish divergence and all we were looking for guys is the opposite signal light came at this particular level right here and i clicked out my sell with a profit and i picked a buy rode it all the way to this level of course i saw some bearish divergences around this level and i was very skeptical of course the emotions took toll over me and all i did guys is um i was happy to take some few pips out, out of this of course and uh, the market edge a bit higher and of course i picked another sell right about this level so guys were saying um uh, if I'm to map that particular trade right above this level, so I will show you guys just a minute uh, the, the particular trade that I. So, guys, we're saying these are my trades for the day. Um, we are saying that uh, you know it's pretty much about uh, you know nineteen hundred dollars, um, uh, which is pretty much uh, okay with me. I can close for the day. As you can see, this was my buy trade, which of course gave me. An exit signal that opposite signal and I clicked out for a small loss and before that I had a nice sell right about this level um, as you can see guys when I go the confirmation of a red which was backed up by the bearish divergence on the previous time zone uh, the previous uh, few minutes then I was able to pick my sell right about this level and of course I saw the bearish divergence on this level then I clicked out my sell right here and I pocketed my pips and I was happy to take the trade on the opposite side so we're saying I can see the volume is dropping down so all I will do is to sit back, relax, uh, get something to do at this particular moment, play some PlayStation or something of the sort and get myself busy. Uh, and then I will be back to this particular chat tomorrow, Friday, the 12th or the 11th day of October. So guys, I will look forward to making more videos to ensure that most of you guys learn this thing. And uh, if I automate this, then I can list my EA to most of you guys who probably be interested or you, you know, fancy uh, automating and, you know, letting your emotions out of the way. So, guys, it's been nice testing this video. Like I said, feel free to give me feedback if my voice sucks. Tell me, man, your voice sucks. If you're bored, don't get bored, man. As long as you're making money, you shouldn't be bored. So I will look forward to coming days to making more videos and speak to you guys very, very soon. I want to keep this straight up 15 minutes. So I will say goodbye. Trade safe. Be very happy always. 
and I will speak to you very, very soon. Goodbye, guys. Cheers.